Aloha. Hello. Chef Spence, welcome. Well, welcome to the you. Kahala. Thanks. So Hollywood comes to Honolulu. It does indeed. And this is your first time to Hawaii? It is, and it's amazing. Wonderful. So what are you going to do for us today? I'm going to do a little oxtail bruschetta. Okay. And is this one of the items that you feature at the Chateau Marmont? Yeah, actually I do it at the Bar Marmont next door and it sells like crazy. Okay, great. Well, I can see why. I mean, the fixings look good so far. Yeah. We're uh, putting some braised oxtail on some crispy toast that I've just toasted up with a little olive oil. That smells um, incredible. The oxtail's been braised real low and slow with a bunch of vegetables and red wine. Now, is this sort of the style of your cuisine at the at the uh, hotel? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's, it's it all follows the same kind of theme, European theme. Got it. European with California flavors. Perfect, perfect. I have a little shallot parsley salad, with okay. a little bit of lemon juice and olive oil, uh, and I'm going to put this right on top of the ox. Kind of cut through the richness of the oxtail. Yeah, because I know that parsley can be a little aggressive, right? Yeah, parsley can be very aggressive, but it kind of works. Instead of, say, adding a pickle, I'm um, almost adding this to break through that. Got it, got like it. That. And it also looks great. Yeah, and it's beautiful. Perfect. I mean, it's very elegant. I'm going to just top it with a little bit of a port wine reduction. Okay. Wow, look a at that. A little bit of extra olive oil, and all of these flavors are going to soak into that bread. Got it. That dish has just come alive. Yeah. It's beautiful. And this with a glass of pretty much anything red will be amazing. How a Hollywood executive like yourself move so parlay from that into the wine business as a vintner? I used to go to Napa on um, when I could get away for a long weekend. It was very close to Los Angeles. And then um, eventually bought the winery. So it was uh, nothing planned. I certainly didn't know anything about wine making or mm -hmm. growing. Mm -hmm. Well, you have quite an arsenal of wine here that you brought with you. Could you tell me a little bit about the, the, uh, the sure. variety and, and how that all came to be? Sure, we, we started in 1992. Um, we purchased the winery. We continued making some Champagne, although we cut it down from over 100,000 cases a year to 5,000 cases. Wow. And we started making some still wines. We have a number of Cabernets now. It's just grown since then. I see. So that's I going see. back to the beginning. So first year, 1992, 200 cases. Mm -hmm. This year, we'll probably make in excess of 60,000 cases. Unbelievable. And uh, we actually make more Chardonnay now than we do of anything else. I always find it fun to do uh, dinners where a chef will match things because I can't change the wine mm -hmm. to make to go with what she's doing so they have to taste the wines and then match the food match up the food. and when you get great chefs yeah. it just makes even a good wine and a good meal it makes it better together it's just uh, it's uh, it's just a, a fun way to eat and a fun way to experience mm -hmm. 